For almost 50 years, most Lansdowne and DuPont area residents have been in the dark as to what goes on in this facility. We got a look at part of it. The company cites competitive concerns as the reason for not showing us everything. We did see the heart of the operation, though. Natural, unenriched uranium pressed into pellets in a machine called a grinder. GE insists it's all completely safe. The exposure that a person would receive standing right here where I'm standing today, 24 hours a day for an entire year, is five times less than one dental x-ray. And 25 times less than a flight from Vancouver to Toronto, according to GE's documentation. Workers here suit up in lab coats or coveralls with steel toes, goggles and gloves, but no face masks. The company says there are no dangerous emissions. Any of that dust that could come off the grinding is sucked back up and returned back to Cameco. So we capture everything. So here's a close-up of the pellets that are manufactured at this facility here in Toronto. From here, they're shipped over to Peterborough, where they go into this, the finished product, zirconium rods. They're then shipped out across the country to be used in can-do reactors. But as long as the safety assurances are coming from the company itself, some residents still are not buying it. Well, I don't believe that, man. How, how, would, how would we know that? You know? Yeah. You know unless you know, they, they do some tests and, and they, they show it to the people. You know, on the spot. The secrecy has left them feeling deceived, even the local MPP. That's unacceptable. I mean, if there is, uh, you know, the first issue we need to get to the bottom of is why people don't know about this. Uh, people have a right to know about what's in their community. We have a requirement to inform the public if we have an unusual event or if something goes wrong. Frankly, nothing's gone wrong in 50 years. This battle is nowhere near over. Over the next couple nights, organizers have arranged two different community meetings to talk this out. Mark Carcassol, Global News.